Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel Hattie Homemaking. So in today's video it's going to be really exciting. I'm going to share with you a load of baby bits that I have bought recently secondhand. So all of this stuff is secondhand either from charity shops, from baby sales, secondhand from friends. So I just wanted to do this video to show how much stuff, quality stuff you can get secondhand and how having a baby does not have to be the most expensive thing in the world. It is expensive, don't get me wrong, no matter how you do it, but I think there's a lot of pressure, especially since social media has come, to get all of the latest and greatest, um, the best brand new stuff, and if you do it that way, it's really going to mount up. So how I've said it is that I'm basically going to try and get everything secondhand. The only thing I'm funny about is beds. I want the beds to be brand new. Um, I've treated myself to a snoo sleeper. That is one of the most expensive baby gadgets possibly out there but they had a really good Black Friday deal on and the reviews are really good and I value my sleep so I have treated myself to the happiest baby snoo sleeper so that's going to come just before my due date and then they also have a 30 day warranty as well so if it's not meshing with our baby we can then return it so that gave me a little bit of comfort as well so the snoo sleeper we're going to buy the crib and the mattress everything like that second hand and then also I want a new pram as well just because then those things will do us for um, the rest of our children as well hopefully so um, things like clothes I, I mean obviously I'm gonna buy some stuff brand new it's such an exciting time and it's actually very difficult when you first find out you're pregnant not to get sucked into all the excitement of it all and just want to buy absolutely everything <laughs> so I've had to hold back on that especially this is something I've wanted my whole life so it becomes like it's similar to how you feel before a wedding it becomes very easy to justify more and more and more money being spent because you tell yourself it's once in a lifetime time it's such a big life event so you can justify spending so much money but it just isn't necessary and another point as well is you don't know what your baby is gonna like until it's here so things like swings um, and expensive gadgets and things like that you don't actually know if they're gonna like it so if you can get things like swings secondhand then at least if they don't like it they don't like the motion or they prefer something else you can then sell that one and you won't have wasted that much money so I definitely think that's a good point to remember that not all babies are the same and just because loads of YouTubers talk about maybe, I don't know, the mamaroo, <laughs> it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be the lifesaver for you. Um, so that's what I wanted to do. I do preach, I've done quite a few charity shop hauls. I do love secondhand stuff and trying to live a little bit more sustainably and for me, um, me and Paul know I want to have a lot of time being a stay-at-home mum so I don't know if I can afford that if I spend all of my savings now on baby stuff so it's just about being smart and um, obviously if you've got loads of money and you work in a high-flying job and you're going to return to it after six months then if you want to treat yourself go for it but this is for people who want to be a little bit more frugal and I just wanted this video to sort of demonstrate to you how much you really can get secondhand that is really good quality think as well a lot of the times babies grow so fast so stuff like clothes they will have maybe been worn once or twice so you're getting a really really great deal anyway I'm going to stop rambling now because I feel like I've been preaching for four minutes <laughs> But I just wanted, I don't know, I just it's something I feel passionate about. I think people feel really put off these big life events because of the money associated with it. And I just want to show there is another way to do it. So I'm going to get straight on in to showing you everything. I have bought for the baby secondhand recently. And I really hope you enjoy this video. I hope it gives you some ideas if you are pregnant or expecting. And if not, then I just hope you enjoy seeing all of the cute baby bits that I've bought. Okay, so this is what is going to be the baby's room. It is looking a little bit chaotic at the moment just because I'm collecting everything. So how this room is going to work, so we've got this huge built-in wardrobe. So I'm gonna have these two. Um, and then this one has been cleared for the baby. So I'm just gonna go through all of this stuff that I have got so far. So first of all, I've got this big, huge bath. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this or another one. Um, 
um because it looks a bit big for a newborn i don't know if it'll freak me out so i don't know if whether i'll probably end up buying one of those snuggle baths um but that a friend gave to me anyway um in this one it's a load of toys so i'm going to sit down and go through that um i've got this high chair so this is the billy fairs elephant high chair um i think we're going to keep this in the loft for now because obviously it's going to be quite a while until we can actually use this um but that again was out of the bundle from my friend um so yeah that's good i just need to get some more straps for that then in here i'm gonna lay this out properly um but underneath i've got breastfeeding pillow so that's good and um, that wasn't used and it's got a zippy cover that you can wash it anyway and then i got this from like a baby fair so it's like a almost an alternative to a moses basket so you strap them in here um and you can rock it up and down like that and then it also vibrates as well so just if they i don't know i thought maybe i can keep it in the kitchen and then if i'm cooking or if i want to go in the shower i've got somewhere at least to put them um and then on the same lines as well i got this swing so i will show you how this swing works now so essentially you can sit this swing either going this way or you can turn it around to face that way and then it swings it like so you turn it on like that it doesn't have to swing much um so as you can see that's going side to side but then you can also turn it so they're going front to back as well and then this also vibrates as well i just need to put some batteries in it but i got that second hand from spark for 45 pound and originally it was 100 so i'm really happy about that it's in perfect condition as well so this is the little play mat so it says i love cuddles so it's just a simple play mat or you can add this to it which is it's called like a snuggle or something so you can blow up this bit and then they can either go um like all around it or you can like fold it to go like that so they can have a bit of a seat um there's loads of different ways you can set that up so that was really good as well next this was from a baby sale we went to i got this changing mat which is in perfect nick for a pound I bought that for a pound <laughs> which I thought is really good I also got the Gruffalo because I know loads of children love the Gruffalo and that was one pound fifty um so that's what else I bought um what else have we got in here this is a tummy time pillow this was my friend um bought this for her sister she used it with her baby and now it's come to me which is great um that is one of the toys so i'll put that in there i'll go through all the toys with you i'm not sure what this is it's like a wedge pillow if anyone knows what this is used for could you please let me know in the comments below it just came in a load of other stuff and then this is um i think it's the one that you tie around the cot but i know that's not safe or recommended so it'll probably end up going around the playpen that i intend to do in the living room so i'll just take you through all of the toys i've got as well before i open the wardrobe and show you what the wardrobe is looking like so first of all i got this um blow up i think you put water in it i think it's like a play mat and then they can lie belly first and then like press all of the stuff and it's like a sensory mat type thing so all of these toys were from my friend who gave me a load of stuff i gave her 75 pound and for that i got all these toys the high chair um tommy tippy prep machine mom bottles and loads of clothes it was very good oh and the bath as well so um in this this isn't toy related but i've got some baby first year milestone cards and some more disney baby milestone cards then i've got this little mirror so this is probably another thing that will be tied on the playpen then i've got this little tiger so all of these toys need a good wash so if you know the best way to wash toys like this let me know i think they should be all right in the washing machine um but let me know if you know a better way because we've got loads of time still still got like what six five six months to go <laughs> and i've got all this stuff so yes this little tiger um this little rattle <laughs> then similar to the tiger this is the giraffe version and then also the elephant and then the elephant's got a little mirror on the back as well murph what's the matter oh you don't like this ringing 
you not like the rattles? That's going to be a problem, isn't it? You'll have to get used to it. Um, then we've also got this little butterfly. Um, this little... Oh, you're all right. Murphy's getting scared of the toys. <laughs> we definitely need to get him used to all of this. Um, this little block thing. So A is for apple. B is for ball. C is for crocodile. Two little ducks. <laughs> Then this little bunny rabbit, which I thought was really cute as well. And then a little monkey. Little monkey. Um, another little monkey. <laughs> and then this is, I think this is like a, a finger puppet. But I think you can maybe use it in the bath to make it a bit more fun. Like, wee, yay. <laughs> um, next I have this little snuggle soother. So this has never been used um, and it's just a little monkey attached to the dummy. Um, so there's that. Another little rabbit. They can hold it and rattle it. And then another little mirror. So that is everything of the toys. Um, so now let's open up the wardrobe and I will show you what I've done with that. Okay, so this is baby's wardrobe. So I'm going to open it up and show you what it's looking like. So up there, I've got some nappy caddies. And then that has just got some blankets in it. So I got a blanket, like a huge one for £2, which was amazing. And then all of this is the clothes so far. Um, so I'll sit down and go through all the clothes. I'll just quickly take you through the ones that are hanging up. So uh, this is a sleep suit. So I got that second hand. That was, how much was that? Um, well, I don't think the price is on anymore. I think it was £2. Um, a little cardigan, I can't go wrong with that, that was £1, a little white cardigan. Then this still had tags on it, little bear, little bear cardigan. And then little rainbow cardigan, I thought that was cute. Um, these two um, bear sleep suits. And then this for when they're a little bit older, so this says little pumpkin and it's got some leggings and that's also got the tags on as well so I'll take you through all the clothes now this is stuff this is the only stuff that has been bought brand new so when we first found out I was pregnant I got these little zipper oh sorry that was a horrible noise <laughs> I got these two zipper sleep suits so everyone goes on about zipper sleep suits and how good they are so I got them and then I also got this little Winnie the Pooh little romper snuggly sort of day and that came with a hat as well and then my mother-in-law bought us this sleep suit which is six to nine months not sleep suit sorry snow suit um, and that is going to be more suitable so the baby will be about six seven months when it starts getting cold um, and then this will suit boy or girl so if that is the wardrobe and now I'm going to sit down and take you through all of the clothes okay so now moving on to clothes i'm gonna start with newborn clothes so a lot of the things i have bought second hand loads of things come in like bundles so if you look online on like ebay spock anything like that and um, people do like giant bundles um, and they're so affordable they come with so many clothes um, so it's really really worth looking at them so because of that I've got some um, newborn three to six month and six to twelve month stuff as well so I'm just gonna go through everything I'm gonna try and go through it quite quickly even though some stuff is so cute I'll definitely want to linger but otherwise this video is gonna be so long because I've already bought so much stuff it's crazy Okay, so first of all, I feel like you're all going to die at this. It's a little snowsuit. So a little white with the little bear ears snowsuit. This is newborn. So we're not sure how much we're going to use this because it is going to be born, um, well, sort of June time. So sometimes it can be quite cold in the UK um, around that time if, like, I don't know. You, there's just no way to tell. Sometimes it's absolutely boiling. We have a heat wave and sometimes it's actually quite cold. So we've got it anyway. Um, this just came in a bundle. So um, yes, and it has a zip. It's just so cute. I love snowsuits. They actually make me die. So this is a potential um, come home from the hospital outfit. So this again came in a bundle and it's actually Jasper Conrad as well. And it's gender neutral. So it's this little um, top and then it comes with matching bottoms. How cute. And then a matching little hat. So I'm just thinking that is the perfect little come home from hospital outfit. So that's a little potential for that. Then we've got this one. <laughs> 
don't worry daddy you have totally got this mommy said so <laughs> that made me laugh then I've got a little stripey one just plain little stripey one so obviously at the moment we don't know the gender so everything um we've bought so far should fit um look all right on a girl or a boy but it's not long till we find out the gender i am filming this on the 22nd of december and we find out in two days but this will go up after christmas so by the time this is up i will know the gender next i got this is brand new this little um well everyone who looks at it thinks it's a giraffe but i think it's a dinosaur and it says i can change the world let me know what you think that is it could be a giraffe dinosaur hybrid next another little t-shirt sleepy dumbo <laughs> and then i've got loads of like plain sleep suits so everyone has said to me that i'll just live in sleep suits at first so i've got this little dotty one long sleep suit then i've got another dumbo i've got a lot of dumbo stuff i think i got a bundle with loads of dumbo dumbo stuff in and that says hello world so that could be another potential come home from hospital outfit because that's quite cute staying on the dumbo theme we have another little sleep suit here this one isn't done up um there we go which is dumbo i need to give all of these a good wash as well then this is um next baby another sleep suit that's just got little stars on it another dumbo don't just fly saw little baby grow <laughs> isn't that cute <laughs> i die at so much of this stuff then this is another jasper comran little starred um sleep suit and that's still got tags on a lot of the stuff i've got has still got tags on it which is amazing some little dumbo <laughs> pants oh cute are they the pants and the hats just kill me and then i got this is actually a book that i used to read when i was younger a little elmo sleep suit not sleep suit sorry this is a baby grow a long sleeve baby grow then this one hug me mummy <laughs> i've got so much stuff honestly i could just keep going for ages but it might get a little bit boring um oh yes this is another jasper comran one this is the same pattern as the little three-piece set as well then i've got hugs cuddles and kisses and then i'm actually going to pick up the camera and just show you the rest of this because it's all it's going to take ages to go through it so in there this is a big box i've got and this is all like white um sleep suits baby grows we actually went to a baby sale so that's um let's have a look at that um yeah just short sleeve long sleeved all sorts in there these are the only ones these two which i think aren't that gender neutral and oh, maybe they are actually i sort of imagine them more on a girl but they'd probably be all right on a boy and that's um little what does that say um lions went in two by two and then giraffes went in two by two <laughs> which is cute so that's all of the newborn stuff so let me just plunk that back in there i'm trying to keep everything organized and then i'll get the other age groups now okay so now we'll go to three to six months so this is a smaller basket but i'm sure it will grow um so little dalmatian lots of love little baby grow and then i've got oh just some little vests plain white vest another plain white vest um this is oh this is cute this is like a little but is it bambi or bugs bunny can't work out what that is something disney anyway <laughs> little baby grow um which one's this oh this is mummy and me <laughs> that's cute i love anything like that that's got like little giraffes or elephants in and then again these little pants these are adorable they've got like little um zebras elephants giraffes on so cute so that's everything three to six months and then i'll do six to 12 months now so just a plain striped one again another plain striped one <laughs> And this is like a little bear, little bear. Then, what's that? Happy bear, that must be out the same set as the other bear one. Then little star one, and a plain white one, and then another plain white one. So that's everything, six to 12 months. So I'm quite impressed with myself there. Excuse me, Murphy, I'm trying to film. Thank you very much, little boy. You mind? 
Thank you. Yeah, so I'm quite impressed how quickly we managed to get through all of those clothes because normally when I'm showing them to my friends and family, we're not as fast. We linger on things. I'm like, oh, so cute, imagine that. But I think because I didn't want this video to end up being super, super long, I blasted through it. So yes, that is all of the clothes. So now I'm gonna take you into the kitchen. This is how crazy organized I am. Bearing in mind, I've just turned 17 weeks pregnant. Um, I already have a cupboard of baby stuff in the kitchen um, ready. So um, some things I've bought on Black Friday deal, so they weren't secondhand, but I got a lot of things secondhand as well. So I'm gonna go in and show you that now. Okay, so the baby's cupboard, so far this might move, is here. So all the tins and Tupperware, so this is everything for the baby so far. Um, so I'll just quickly take you through everything. So I've got, I've got both Mom bottles and Tommy Tippy. I know people say you have to stick with one, um, but I'm just going to see which they prefer. I'm in, I'm going to combination feed I think I'm not 100% sure I need to do some more research but I've got bottles there anyway if I need them so I've got four Tommy Tippy and then I've got these mom ones and then these all the mom ones were second hand and the Tommy Tippy one I bought um so I've got three of these mom size two and then I've also got them in pink as well that was out of a bundle um and then I got this Tommy Tippy prep machine as well so that makes the bottles for you I got that second hand as well they're usually like 75 pound and I got that in a bundle um 75 pounds worth of that a high chair a bath and um loads of clothes so that was good oh yeah and loads of toys as well <laughs> and then I have this steriliser as well I just bought that on Black Friday just because the deal was really good so that is everything in the kitchen. Okay, so that is everything I have bought for the baby so far that is second hand. I hope this video has helped you if you're expecting and well, was feeling quite nervous about how much you have to spend. You do not have to spend that much. So hopefully this has helped you. And if you're not expecting, hopefully you've just enjoyed seeing all the cute baby bits. So I'm gonna leave this video here. If you have enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.